Hello everyone, my name is Akesh Sohan, and today we will be discussing about interpolation search. So what exactly is interpolation search? It's an improvement over binary search, because binary search only checks using the middle index of an array, as to where interpolation search checks using different locations based on the current element being searched. And it works more efficiently if the elements are sorted and uniformly distributed. Uh, if we take a look at the big O runtime of the algorithm, uh, for linear search it would be big O of n, which is really long. Um, binary search is faster with big O log of n, and then interpolation search is way faster, log log of n. And the worst case scenario is big O of n, but this can be avoided if we um, make sure that our array is sorted and uniformly distributed. So for the first step of our algorithm, uh, it's to ensure that these elements are sorted and uniform distributed. Um, for our starting index, we'll, we will have 0, and then the end, ending index will be n minus 1, which is where n is your number of elements subtracted with 1 since your start index is 0 instead of 1. So now the current position that you're searching will have this formula start uh, index um, plus n index minus your start index over the value in your array at that n index minus the value in your array at the start index and then that multiplied by your current uh, element you're searching for minus the element at the start. And as mentioned, A of your index is the value in your array at that index. And E is the element you're searching for right here. So now let's say in your array at your current position you find that it's equal to E then that's that's great you you found the element you're searching for and let's say it's a different case where that your element you're searching for um, turns out to be greater than your current position's value now you then you'll have to alter your start instead of um, zero your start index will be your current position's index plus one and then the third case if it's less than uh, the current value you're um, looking for, then make end change instead of start. Uh, it'd be the current position's index minus 1. And I'll provide an example to how these are used. So let's say you have an array with 9 numbers, 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, and 15. And let's say you're looking for the element 4. The first step would be according to our algorithm, is to start with index 0 and end with n minus 1. We have 9 elements, and you subtract 1, and that's 8. So we've plugged in values into our formula, start index 0, plus n minus start, 8 minus 0, and then over the values. So 15 at the end, minus 1 at the beginning. Times 4, which you're looking for, and then you subtract 1, which is value at the beginning again. And that is actually equal to 1.71, but for our algorithm, you take only the integer value because indexes can only have integer values. So now the second step in searching for 4 is you change the start value. And that becomes 2 because in the first step you had 1, and then since at position 1, 0, 1, that is 2. Now 2 is less than, so if we look at our formula, um, less than is greater than 2, because 4 is greater than 2, and that makes 1 plus 1. This is where you get the position 1, and you just add 1. Now end, you leave alone, and you just plug in the same values into the equation. Uh, and then at 0, it becomes 2, and then instead of 1, it becomes 4, because at position 2, 0, 1, 2, you have a 4. 
and then what you're looking for, 4 minus 4, right here, equals 2.54, and that value turns out to be 2. And now, if you look for, at the position 2, 0, 1, 2, you end up with 4. And so you found your element, and it only actually took two steps. Yeah. Um, so now if we were to use the algorithm we've come up with and convert that into C++ code, it would look a little like this. So you have an integer being returned in your function header because that's an index, and then named interpolation search, which is what you're doing. And it takes in three inputs. It takes in an array, number of elements, and the element you're looking for. You initialize your variables, so you initialize an integer for start, end, and position to be used for indexes. And with our um, algorithm, we start at 0, and end is n minus 1. So now for our searching algorithm, we want to make sure we're continual, continually searching while start is less than equal to n to make sure the program hasn't like broken and e is greater than or equal to start or less than or equal to n um, to make sure it's within the array. So position now, you just convert directly from our algorithm and we have a double here to make sure that our division and multiplication uh, work properly. So now for our first case, if a position is equal to e, which is the element you're looking for, just return that index and you're done searching. But if it's uh, greater than, you add 1 to your start variable, else you subtract 1 from your end variable. And then it, this condition will only stop until you return the index when you meet this condition. And if it did end up breaking, it would return a negative 1, and that would signify that you've uh, received an error in your program. So thank you very much. This is the uh, algorithm for interpolation search. And here are my references. And thank you.